in this lesson, we're going to create poll number two in our Google Forms. The first step is I suggest you watch the YouTube so you know what you're doing. Step number two, I want you to log into Google Drive, open up your computer apps folder, then open up your forms folder. Here's my Google Drive. I'm going to open up my computer apps folder. And then you should have two different folders, your docs folder and your forms folder. Since this is a form, we're going to open up our forms folder. And we're going to be working in our forms folder. How do I know that it's my forms folder? Well, if you look all the way to the right up here in your folder line, it's the one farthest to the right. So I know I'm working in my forms folder. Step number three, I'm going to create a new form. I'm going to name it Poll2. So I go up, top left hand corner, click on New. Go down to More, and click on Google Forms. I press Create. I'm going to title this as poll 2. Okay. Step number 4. I'm going to customize my theme. First, the header, I'm going to download a pic from the internet. Now before I do that, I have to get a picture from the internet. So I'm going to go to Google and I'm going to, let's say, football. Type in football, any topic that you want, just as long as it's school appropriate. I'm going to click on pictures. Find a good picture that, that you like. We'll scroll down here. Find a good picture. this one. I click on it. I'm going to right click. I'm going to save as. And I'm just going to name it football. And then I'm going to make sure it's in my downloads. I don't need this page anymore, so I get rid of it. Go back to my poll. I click right here for my customized theme. I click on Choose Image in my header right here. This time, I'm not going to use these. I'm going to use. I'm going to click on Upload to upload my picture. Here's my picture right here. Now since my picture is too big, this is the area that it shows up on my form. So I can move it up, I can move it down, and you can add caption if you want. I'm going to put Go Gay Men. I need to choose a theme color. I don't like any of these colors because caveman is blue. I'll click on plus, move my color circle to, to the blue area. And then I can move this and make it darker or whatever I want, kind of color. I click add. And now notice my color is blue up here. Now I can choose my background, choose background color. That's part of it. I'm going to choose this color here. See how dark this got? If I don't like that color, I can go a little lighter, but I like the darker one. And font stays basic. Okay, I like the basic, it's, e it's easy to read. 
Okay, next, five, settings. We're going to collect email addresses and restrict it to CMS. So you come over here, click on this little wheel, settings will pop up. Click on where it says collect email addresses. And make sure this is click, click to Carlsbad Municipal Schools. Okay. And then press A. And step number six. Now we're ready to write our questions. This time, this poll, you are going to make all the, all the questions. But your first question has to be a multiple choice with four options. So, I can get rid of this. Here's my first question. I'm just going to put Q1 because you're going to have to make the question. And it has to be multiple choice. You should have an option one, option two, option three, option four. And make sure it's required. You have to have four options. Next one, you have to make the next question also. This time it's a linear scale. One equals hate it, five equals love it. So you click right here on this button, this plus, to add a question. So question number two. Come over here, change the question type to linear. Come over here, one, hate it, five, love it. And make sure it's required. Required makes make sure that everyone has to answer that question. Next, question three, you're going to make up your own question. Again, all these questions must be school appropriate. This time it's going to be multiple choice again with four options. So I click on add another question. Question three, it's already multiple choice, I'm good. Option one, click right here to add option. Option two, option three, option four, whatever your options are and then click on required. Question number four, you're going to make up yourself again. Linear scale, one is hate it, five is love it. Add your next question. Question four, now instead of you writing Q4, you write your question. I'm going to go over here, change my question type to linear. One is hate it. Five is love it. Make sure you click on required. They have to answer the question. Question number five, again, you have to create yourself. And this time it's going to be short answer. So click on the question button, add another question. Q5, come over here and change the question type. The short answer, press required. Okay, we are done. Now, step number seven, we need, we need to get the form link so we, can, so we can paste it into our assignment form. So here's how you get the link. And we want the short link. Come all the way back up. Come over here to this purple button. Send, click on it. Come over here and click on this little link icon right here. Click on shorten URL and press copy. Now you got this. This is where people will click to look at your form or your, or your poll. Okay, step number eight. Click on here, this is assignment form. You need to fill it out. Click on the link. And it should look something like this. Now, I haven't opened it up yet, but you'll fill out your name, your hour, the teacher, at the very bottom, your link. Step number nine, view your poll answers. We need to create, <coughs> create your little file so you can look at all the answers that people did on your poll. So you come back up to poll. At the very top, click on where it says responses. Click on this little icon right here. Create spreadsheet, click on it. Go ahead and leave the name as it is. 
press create. And this is what it will look like. Timestamp, it tells you the date and time someone took your poll, the person's email address, answer to question one, answer to question two, answer to question three, answer to question four, and answer to question five. Now, when you get that done, if you want to go back to your folder and see if it's in your forms folder, notice it's not here right now. Well, there it is. It just showed up. This is poll two. This is what people take. And this, these are the answers when people take your poll. So you guys should, you should have poll one, poll and answers, poll two, and answers. The last thing, step number 10. You can view and take student polls. Matter of fact, I want you to take any poll out there. So all you got to do is click on student polls. And this will be, will be populated with person's name who made the poll, what teacher, what hour, and all you got to do is to look at someone's poll is click this link, it'll open up and you can take the poll.